Hey everyone, welcome to d.py. In today's video, we are going to discuss function calling and uh, other API updates. Actually, OpenAI has introduced a fine-tuned version of GPT 3.5 Turbo and GPT 4 that are capable of making any call to a function which you can provide. So these new updates will make it very easy for developers to connect ChatGPT to external tools. It is same like the GPT 4 plugins concept, but it's uh, different. We can call any function and so without going through all the process of creating a plugin for the GP chat GPT UI and so. So yeah, uh, let's get straight into it. I'm going to show you an example. I will use the existing example of OpenAI and also we will add our own custom function so that you can understand it better. Now if I scroll down, here there are some details which I would recommend you to read. It's a good habit always. And here uh, I have a link that says developer documentation. If I go to this link, it opens this documentation for me. So there are uh, a lot of text written over here. I have read it all already. So I would also recommend you to read it and maybe it gives you a better idea. Anyway, we will go straight to the example code they have provided. Uh, this is the example code. I am going to copy this. Once I have copied this, I will go back to my VS code. Let's create a file and call it function call.py. You can name it anything. All right. So we have the piece of code given by OpenAI. In this piece of code, there is a function that says get current weather. So this function takes an argument that is location. So which means you will provide a location and it will give you this dummy response. This response is not connected to any actual weather API. So it is just dummy uh, for the sake of concept. All right. And next we have this function that says run conversation. We are going to alter this anyway. Uh, so what will actually happen is they are making two API calls, not one. So this is the first API call. And then here we have the second API call over here in this piece of code and I'm going to explain it why. So this is the first API call. In this we have the model specified, the messages of user and there are two additional things that is functions and function call. Uh, it is set to auto so it will just automatically uh, analyze the user's query and call the appropriate function and inside functions we can define as many functions as we want let's say oh, right now we just have one function that is called the name of the function is get current weather I have we have provided some description that says get the current weather in a given location all this is a metadata for open AI model so they can understand the user query and know which function to call so we have to provide this data accurately. So in this example, we have this function called get current weather, the description of the function and parameter and the type is object. So let's not get into this type uh, for time being. And we have properties and inside properties, we are going to define, okay, what this function is going to take, the parameters, I mean. So here in properties, I have said, hey, this will take location and the location type is string the description of this parameter is this okay so which means if i go back to the function we have defined it takes two parameters that is location and the other one is unit so if unit is not provided it will be fahrenheit by default it does not matter we can remove it or anything but location it is required it is necessary so once the user provides the location we will show the weather this dummy uh json i mean Okay, so if I go come back down here uh, into this function, we have defined this location, we have defined the units as well, and we have say type string in um, Celsius Fahrenheit, not, not important. And down here, we have also defined that this location parameter, it is required. Okay, so as I said, all this is a metadata for OpenAI models to understand uh, which function to call and what is the properties of that function. By properties, I mean what that function will take as input, what it will output and why it should be called and blah, blah, blah. 
so this api call it is a regular api call so if i say let's suppose hi hi there i'm going to uh, write this simple text that does not require any function i mean the function we have defined about uh, getting current weather it is not supposed to be called right so if i run this piece of code uh, okay let me run it again okay it printed none uh, anyway let's try to print the response of this function if i say okay so now if i print this so as you can see uh, what is the response the response is a content and in content it is replying to us uh, like the regular uh, gpt gpt model it says hello how can i assist you today but let's now let's change the scenario and say hey what's the weather in karachi okay so now i'm asking about weather so this so this model should know this function is supposed to be called now okay so now let's run this piece of code once again oops okay so now if you look this is the response which we just printed and now this is the content as you can see it is null but there is additional key that gives you the information about hey we are supposed to call a function the name of function is this uh, get, get current weather and these are the arguments the arguments are provided to us in a json format so it is right now uh, in a string format but we will uh, parse it to, to an actual json object okay now let's go to the second api call so in second api call down here first of all we are checking whether the messages which we just printed over here does it contain a function call if yes then we are going to grab the function name once we have the function name we are calling that function so the function is called get current weather and it takes two parameters that is messages dot get location and unit right so this location parameter it is supposed to be taken from over here so this piece of code provided by openai it will not work because i don't know why they did that or uh, they could have parsed it for us but anyway so for that we have to change this piece of code let's remove this unit because i don't want to provide this i want it by default uh fahrenheit so if we alter this piece of code and I write JSON dot loads messages function call arguments location. So now we have parsed, first of all, we have parsed this uh, string as an object and we have fetched this location, uh, whatever location the user has specified so now it should be working well now down here as you can see this is the second response we are making the same api call but uh, this one it is a little bit different here we have uh, parsed the user message what is weather like in boston it should be in karachi and secondly we have passed this message this message is coming from up there as you can see this is coming from the previous one you don't need to pay attention to this just say okay I, I have to put it here anyway and here uh, we have passed another parameter that is an object that says role function we have provided the function name and the content will be the function response so this is just a format you can you will have to follow in order to uh, make it work so now if i run this piece of code so this is what we are going to let me get rid of all the metadata so that it's easier for you to analyze things so instead of messages i will print content and down here if and down here i can say choices message content 
Now, if I clear my terminal and run this piece of code, initially the content will be null. Be uh, okay, it is none because it is supposed to make uh, an API call. Let's remove this content so we know what is actually happening in the initial step. So initially, this is the response. The content is null and we are supposed to make the function call. So based on this condition, we are uh, calling the... So based on this condition, we are making the second API call. Uh, so, be so based on this condition, we are making this second API call and this is the final response as you can see the current weather in Karachi is sunny windy and temperature of 72 Fahrenheit so here as you can see we have returned this uh, JSON object uh, so what the second API call does is uh, it get this response from the function we have provided and it summarize this information and give it and give us answer in a natural language so this new function calling stuff, it's really cool and going to make things very easy for developers like us and you guys. So now let's uh, add one additional function so that you guys know how it's working. Let's say sum to integers. So what it will do is it will take num1, num2 and it will return the sum of both the numbers that were given to the this function so i will say info equals sum the sum will be num1 plus num2 let's also say integer in case it provides string we are supposed to convert it into integer and let's remove all this extra stuff and I'm going to return this weather info. Now, since we, I have built this function, now I have to tell OpenAI to, hey, this is uh, my function. You are supposed to call it whenever the user wants to add two different numbers. Now, if I scroll down here, as you can see here, I have uh, this function defined. So I'm going to make a copy of this. All this, I will put a comma over here. So this metadata is for the function called get current weather and we have made a copy of it and here I would say sum to numbers uh, sorry sum to integers this is the function name the description of it will be return the sum of two integers and here I will say num1 it will be integer any positive integer and here I will say num let me create a copy of it let me remove this if I say num2 it will be the same okay so in required I will say both the numbers are required okay so this is the metadata for our new function which we just built and now we have to make some changes down here before the second API call because first of all we are getting the name of function so we will say if function name is equals get current weather then we are supposed to do this or else we are supposed to make it different let me create a copy of this code and I will say get some two integers and here I'm doing the same stuff but uh, this time it will be different instead of location it will be num1 I will say num1 here num2 and here I will also say num2 so these are the two arguments this function will take and return a response now let's test this piece of code let me clear the terminal if I run this piece of code it is generating an error okay so I think OpenAI don't uh, work with integers let's make it string there's not a problem at all uh, if I go back up here 
and said it will be a string or maybe if i write integer it's it may work but anyway let's not get into it you can test it out always if i run this again okay so right now what we have asked was the weather so it called this function called get current weather now let me change my query if i uh, let me say input query equals what's three plus five and i will replace it over here and also i will replace it over here now if i run this piece of code it should give me the sum of three plus five as you can see now uh, when i ask for a summation of two numbers as input as you can see over here it calls this function that is called sum two integers but if i say what's the weather in islamabad if i run this piece of code it will not call this function but it will uh, call the other function uh, that is about current weather yes as you can see uh, since you see how it is differentiating between the user's uh, intention and how the user is supposed to be served and yeah that's it guys if you have any question make sure to comment down below i'm going to try my best to answer and if you are not subscribed yet make sure to hit the subscribe button thank you so much for watching